Increasingly, technology goes hand in hand with greater learning, and one man's vision is having a profound impact on the way we access and disseminate knowledge. The world is uh, perishing from ignorance, from prejudice, from lack of knowledge. Wikipedia was launched in 2001 as a non-profit organization. Its premise was simple. The big idea here is to bring together the world community to distribute knowledge freely to every single person on the planet in their own language. Evoking the spirits of the first French encyclopedias, Wikipedia has one startling difference. Wikipedia is a freely licensed encyclopedia. It's written by thousands of volunteers all over the world. It's really all about uh, open public participation in the creation of knowledge. We use a software tool called a wiki. Uh, wiki is uh, a version of the word wiki wiki, which is uh, quick in Hawaiian language. And the idea is quick collaboration. So anyone can come to the website, can very easily begin participating in, in editing and updating articles. So this would be what the site would look like, you know, when somebody first visits. You just type anything you want, Thomas Jefferson. And if you type search, it searches for that phrase in lots of different articles. Wikipedia is enjoying great success, with the site seeing 7 billion page views a month. It's a completely global project, so we have people um, in over 130 languages now working, building an encyclopedia for their own language. Mostly people are involved because it's fun. And the opportunity to contribute to this pool of knowledge has proved very attractive, with up to 200,000 edits a day when people notice there's a little link at the top that says edit and you click that and you realize, gee, I can actually change this page. I just click edit and then I can scroll down in here and then there's all the text. So I could change anything. Volunteer contributors, or Wikipedians as they are known, have evolved the site into a robust self-policing community. People can become administrators when they're trusted by the community. The community uh, is responsible for maintaining and updating the content. All of those questions we've been very successful at, at thoughtfully approaching. It's massive collaboration, and massive collaboration is really hard. Politics starts when you've got two people in a room. When you've got 20,000, it's amazing anyone gets any work done. If you've all got a goal, it's easier. We're here to write an encyclopedia. Wikipedia is updated in real time, so if there's something new that happens, some new scientific discovery is announced, the articles will be updated almost instantaneously, and that's an amazing thing to see happen. Certainly, the fact that it's, it's edited live uh, means that uh, sometimes uh, articles are completely wrecked by someone who just edited it five minutes ago. Well, we fix that fairly quickly. The technology is simply a, a database and we store every version when people save versions and some tracking information like who made it, what time they made the edit, and things like that. Wales believes the site is equally relevant to both the developed and the developing world. We face this enormous problem of information overload uh, and we really need uh, something concise, a very uh, simple, concise explanation. So you need to know something and you really don't have time to read 10 books or 100 articles. You just want a nice, concise explanation. For other parts of the world, there's actually a massive shortage of information and, and a real difficulty in accessing information. And this is where Wikipedia can play a very important role as well. And it's an increasingly relevant issue. When we see um, you know, the next billion people come online, um, which we should see in the next five to ten years. And we're going to start hearing directly from people we haven't heard from much. I think that's going to have a big impact on global culture. Jimmy Wales remains convinced of the potential of technology and unstinting in his vision of a Wikipedian future. This technology has is, is really made all of us uh, that much smarter. Um, we have that much more ability to spend our time thinking and making better decisions because we have better information to do that with. The ultimate mission or ambition for Wikipedia is to have a freely licensed encyclopedia for every single person on the planet. The distinct shift of technology from top-down hierarchies to bottom-up innovation is empowering the individual across the world.
ordinary people um, have a lot of interesting things to say and have a lot of knowledge. And uh, this idea that only uh, pre-selected elites should be, you know, sort of broadcasting or publishing to the public um, is really mistaken. We're not bringing inventiveness. The world's full of grassroots inventors. What we're bringing is the tools for invention. Who knows who the next person will be who has access to technology, who will come up with something, who will dream something up that will really change our world. And that can happen if rural communities get access to technology. We are in the midst of a revolution equivalent only to the Renaissance, the impact of which is unparalleled. As shown by our principal voices, technology is the main driving force in the world today. Through continued investment to bridge the digital divide, the power of new technologies can have a massive effect on global communities, enabling democracies, education and economies to thrive. I don't think the world will ever be truly equal, but we're trying to provide that opportunity to get access and to bridge the digital divide so that there is that possibility someday. You know, this whole movement of free culture, I think, is going to have a dramatic impact on the digital divide. I mean, it, it may be very difficult for us to provide uh, certain physical goods to people in the developing world. It costs nothing to provide information. There really is a chance for invention to be the most enabling kind of aid that merges advanced technology with, with people, with communities. Find out more about the challenges facing the world today and the visionaries solving them. Visit the Principal Voices website at principalvoices.com. Principal Voices, in association with Shell.